So let's talk optimism airdrop. When is it happening? We don't know. But what we can do is to use optimism today so that we can obviously position ourselves to get that airdrop when it does come out. In this video, we're going to go through everything that you need to know in order for you to use optimism. And for those of you who don't know, optimism is a layer two scaling solution on the Ethereum network. Now, there are many other scaling solutions that do exist. For example, Arbitrum, we spoke about them in our previous videos and that we're obviously expecting an airdrop there. They sort of like did hint out that there will be an airdrop. I spoke about them extensively in our previous videos. We also spoke about ZK Rollup and we're also expecting an airdrop there. The other scaling solutions includes the Lightning Network, for example, but obviously a Lightning Network can exist in different blockchains. So in this video, we're going to go in depth with regards to how to use Optimism and to get started, go to Optimism.io. Once you're there, you want to make sure that you click on Bridge Tokens. When you're bridging tokens, you're moving funds from Ethereum Layer 1 to Layer 2, which in this case is Optimism. And once you're happy with that, then you're going to click on Deposit. And this process may take some minutes, maybe five to 10 minutes, but once it's actually done, you'll be showered with this balloon telling you that you have completed this process. And now you have successfully bridged from layer one to layer two. The next step will be obviously uh, to use this protocol, for example, in exchanges like Uniswap or One Inch. In this case, we're going to be using uh, Uniswap. And you can see that I'm actually depositing about $26 or so. so it doesn't really matter how much money you have and obviously you need to compensate for those transaction fees if you're doing that first transaction because you're moving from ethereum layer one now when it comes to bridging these funds from ethereum layer two back to your main wallet or maybe to your exchange you may consider just using Arbitrum because that is going to be very very cheap now i'm going to be showing you how to do that later in this video now the next thing what we want to do here is to go ahead and trade on Uniswap or one inch, whatever the exchange that you choose to use, you can also use the Hope Exchange. But in this case, we're going to use Uniswap. So when we're trading on Uniswap using layer two, we'll be paying very, very low transaction fees as compared to what you will pay when you're actually trading on Uniswap on the Ethereum mainnet. As you can see, when I was actually trading on the mainnet here, I was actually paying about $100 on transaction fees, which is really really crazy but in this case because now we're using layer 2 we may be just paying just under a dollar which is considerably cheap and for those of you who actually want to trade on uniswap maybe this is an option that you can use but just bear in mind that not all the tokens will be available on layer 2 so like i said to get started make sure that you go to ecosystem then click on uniswap once you're here you want to make sure that you first connect with optimism you can see that we've got abitram polygon and optimism over here so you want to make sure that you change the network to optimism so i'm going to click on that and you want to make sure that your wallet is actually connected over here so let me change that to the ethereum mainnet the next thing i want to do is to trade one currency for another for example i'm just going to come here and select usdt then I'm just going to trade about 0.009 Ethereum. And now the beauty about this, you can see that I'm paying just less than a dollar on transaction fees. For example, if you were doing this on Ethereum mainnet, you were paying just over hundred dollars on transaction fees alone. So now that I'm happy about that, I'm going to go ahead and swap that. I'm going to confirm a swap. And you can see it says transaction submitted and everything was done successfully. The next thing that you probably want to do is to come back to Optimism over here. Now, what we want to do is to use this specific exchange, which is the Hope Exchange. There is also a Roma airdrop about this specific exchange over here. So basically what we can do here is to trade the funds that we just bought on the other side. You can see that this is our balance that we have on Optimism network over here. So basically what we can do is to move these funds to the Ethereum mainnet, but I don't want to do that because obviously the transaction fees will be way higher there. What we can do in this case is to bridge this over to Arbitrum over here. Maybe before we do that, let's come back on Uniswap over here and just move this around and basically trade back this USDT for Ethereum. Now I'm going to go ahead and swap. You can see that the transaction has actually went down. 
now we can see everything was done successfully we have these funds back on ethereum now let's come back to hope exchange over here and just refresh this and i'm basically just moving the entire funds from optimism and basically bridging it over to arbitrum seems like everything is completed over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna switch over to arbitrum now you can see that we do have these funds that we just moved from optimism over here now the reason why we're doing it this way is so that if you actually wanted to move these funds back to your exchange for example like binance i know binance does support arbitrum the reason why i'm actually doing it this way is simply because you can simply move funds from arbitrum here to actually a centralized exchange like binance so basically what you have to do is to come over to binance and click on deposit from here just click on crypto deposit then select ethereum and now this is very important when it comes to the network you actually have to click on this drop down menu and then select arbitrum so i'm going to select that and actually copy this wallet address now come back to your wallet over here and basically send these funds so i'm going to click on send and just paste this wallet address over here now for the sake of you know doing a first transaction the best thing to do is to basically just do a small amount so basically we can just do a small amount if we want to and then click next i'm basically just testing this because i'm just doing it for the first time as well so i'm gonna click on confirm and basically we have done our transaction the next thing is just waiting for those funds to actually appear on binance over here but you can see it takes about 500 confirmations for the funds to actually appear on this side but maybe it can just appear while we're still here and once you're actually happy that the funds have reflected on the other side you can then go ahead and move the rest of the funds and the reason why i like to do things this way is simply because if you actually made a mistake you don't necessarily lose everything because remember everything is decentralized there yeah, if you lose or if you make mistake you will then lose your funds forever from our wallet you can see that we did send these funds which is about 0.02 ethereum and if you actually come to binance here you can see that we are expecting these funds to actually arrive so everything seems to be correct so if you wanted to move the funds you can then go ahead and move the rest of the funds so that is how you use optimism and obviously by doing that you're actually positioning yourself to get that a drop when it does come out now I do have a playlist right here that's going to show you the biggest airdrops that we are anticipating this year if you want to go ahead and check that out make sure that you click on the screen so that you can obviously follow along and do everything on those videos so go ahead and click on that i'll see you there goodbye